Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss another very important right diagonal property based program in Java and that question is program to print matrix in Z form, okay? So what is that? Given a square matrix of order n cross n, we need to print elements of the matrix in the Z form, okay? Like here, see here one 4 plus 4 matrix is there where first uh, elements, uh, first row elements are 2, 5, 6, 1, then second row elements are 1, 5, 7, 8, then 4, 9, 1, 4, then 8, 9, 6, 5. But how you will print that? The elements has to be printed in Z form. That is first row, then the right diagonal elements, then the last row. That is 2, 5, 6, 1, then 7, 9, 8, then 9, 6, 5. Okay? Like that, this should be your answer. Like that for another case, suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 1, 2, 3, first row, then right diagonal elements, 5, 7, then 8, 9, last row. Uh, row. Okay, so like that you have to print. Obviously, the algorithm is quite simple. So uh, you can use two nested for loops: one loop for row, one loop for column. First, print the uh, first row or last row, and you print the right diagonal elements. For right diagonal elements, how to write the program? Already I have discussed in my previous videos. You can check that link given in the description. Okay, so see here I have written the code. Very simple. First, import uh, java.io.star. I have uh, taken input using buffer reader class. If you want, you can work with scanner class also. Then class LOPA, I have defined one class name. You can give class name according to your choice. Then public static void main string ARGS throws IO exception. Buffer reader R equal to new buffer reader, new input system reader, system.in. We have created the object in the buffer reader class. Then system.out.println enter the dimension of the matrix. Here we are dealing with square matrix, so only one time uh, input is sufficient. So int l1 equal to integer dot parse i and the r dot read line. Then int a equal to new int l1 in, uh, cross l1 matrix. Then for int i equal to 0, i less than l1 and i plus plus. For int j equal to 0, j less than l1, j plus plus. System dot out dot print and enter the element at ij position. And a of ij equal to integer dot parse i and the r dot read line. So using these two nested for loops, we have taken inputs from the user in the particular matrix. Then in this part, system dot out dot print and the entered matrix is here. I have just printed the same matrix which is given input by the user. Then system dot out dot print and the jet pattern output is int i equal to int k equal to l1 minus 1 as we defined for right diagonal, then two nested for loops. If i equal to equal to 0 or i equal to equal to l1 minus 1, that is if it is first row or last last row, then print a of ij the element. Else if j equal to equal to k system dot out dot print a of ij that this part is for what? This part is just to print the right diagonal elements and then k equal to k minus 1. As we do, see, we want to print the sequence, not the matrix. So we have not used print ln. We will print in the same line. So print uh, command we are using and close the brackets accordingly. So let us check whether our code is working or not. Go to command prompt, then cd java, then java c, lopa dot java, then java lopa. Okay, so enter the dimension of the matrix. Let us check with our test case itself. So this is 4 cross 4 matrix, so 4, so enter the element at 0, 0, 2, then 5, then 6, sorry, 6, then 1, then again 1, then 5, then 7, then 8, then 4, then 9, then 1, then 4, then 8, then 9, 6, and 5. See, the Z pattern is 2, 5, 6, 1, 7, 9, 8. 965 perfectly working let us check for one more case let us check okay you can give other inputs also now this is uh, 3 plus 3 where the inputs are in order 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 8 and 9 enter see 1 2 3 5 7 8 9 okay it is printing the Z pattern. So this Z pattern code is perfectly working and the algorithm is quite simple. First row, last row and right diagonal elements. Now, one more uh, code can be found using the same concept that is program to print the Z pattern of stars in 
Java. Okay. And one more thing you just observed. See, as I already discussed in my previous video, the decrementation of counter is provided outside the J loop. See, for int i equal to 0, J less than L1, J plus plus is finished by this. Uh, second bracket outside that we are uh, decreasing the k value why because in for uh, in case of right diagonal element we need only one for loop not nested for loop so to avoid that effect we are declaring outside the uh, first for loop or uh, for loop for the columns outside that we are we have to decrement that okay this basic concept also i have discussed in my previous video if you check you can understand in more detail now what to do for printing the star pattern of Z, uh, alphabetical uh, Z? What to do? Very simple. Here, you can remove this part for int i equal to 0, i less than L1, i plus plus for int j equal to 0, j less than L1, j plus plus, and entering the elements because we don't need to enter the elements. And here also, this part you can remove, that is to the part which you have written to show the matrix given input by the user. These two part if we remove, and if you write the rest of the code, you can easily get that. Right, like here I have written the code. See, you can clearly understand. See, very small code and very simple also. Import java.io.star class LOPU. Public study environment throws IO exception. Then we have created the object in this scanner buffer reader class. Then we are taking the dimension of the matrix L1 equal to integer.parse int. Here you can write also that enter the dimension of the Z pattern also or star pattern also. Then system.out.println the Z pattern output is directly we have to print see this part is same just see what i have done if i equal to equal to 0 or i equal to equal to l1 minus 1 we have to print star right as earlier else if j equal to equal to k system dot out dot print star as earlier one more condition you have to apply if i not equal to if this condition is not satisfied and as well as if j equal to j not equal to k then what will happen obviously we have to print space right because in j pattern rest of the part you have to fill in space and similarly here k equal to k minus 1 and here as we are printing star pattern so in this case we have to go to next line because we are not printing only the elements so system dot out dot print line for the i loop okay and in this so see here very similar code which you can easily implement it implement it so let me start from the beginning. Let me open the command window CMD, then CD, Java, then Java C, L O P U dot Java, then Java, uh, sorry, J A V A L O P U. Okay. Suppose enter the dimension of the matrix. Suppose let me give 10. See the Z pattern output 1. 10 star j pattern is printed okay suppose you want for some uh, higher value suppose let me give 20 see one bigger j pattern is printed okay so like that you can implement in java okay this is all for my this video i'll post both the codes both the programs in the comment section if you want you can check there if you have any doubt regarding the algorithm of the right diagonal please go through the link uh, given in the description and for further doubts ask in the comment section Thank you for watching.